for the bubbler, recall organizers say that they have the signed petitions. They turned them in yesterday. Um, they've got more than a million signatures. But are they going to have enough to remove him from office? Okay, after two months, they've collected the signatures throughout the state. They say that they are going to have enough to not only have the governor, but the lieutenant governor, Rebecca Clayfish, and four state senators. Um, the GAB, this is kind of interesting. I think it's kind of cool. They installed a webcam so you can see them going over the signatures. This is a live picture right now. So this is them doing their jobs. It's kind of nice. You can peek in on government workers and see what they're doing. Hmm. Um, they're going to scan all the petitions right now just to see if they find any Mickey Mouses or things like that that they can instantly, you know, check off. Mm -hmm. um, but then it's just kind of, it's going to take a while it goes up. Mm -hmm. to put it down. All right. You know what? And, and as usual we will talk much more about that right that the closer that we get started. whether we want to or not yeah right. <laughs> but speaking of recalls Sheboygan mayor um, Bob Ryan did survive his recall uh, he survived the primary recall election and he'll face a familiar opponent in February uh, Ryan received 33 percent of the vote yesterday while Terry Van Akron received 26 percent Ryan and Van Akron will face each other in the mayoral race to, uh, they faced each other, I should say, two and a half years ago in the mayoral race. And this is interesting, like, yeah, because Ted was saying yesterday, we, this has been such a hot story mm -hmm. in the media about he had this drunken binge, very public, last mm -hmm. summer, and then it was like, oh, he's a disgrace to our city. Well, maybe that was just a loud couple of people who thought that. Yeah, because, yeah, because apparently, he got the votes yeah. to come through. They're still giving him a shot at it. Yeah. I'd be interested to see exactly what he's done as mayor, because I don't really know that much about Sheboygan, other than what we've seen on YouTube, where he's drunk and, and his acting. Record but he was not committed bad, right? to staying in that position, because there was some talk earlier oh, yeah. about he was not he, him leaving. stepping down, and he right. was no, which I thought interesting. I thought so interesting. We'll see. February 21st for that one yeah. in Sheboygan now. Yeah. This is interesting, and we're anxious <clears throat> to hear your um, thoughts on this, Marco, because athlete, Craig Council, of course, a familiar face here in Milwaukee, a favorite brewer, announced yesterday, kind of sad that he's retiring, but he's not leaving the organization altogether. He's moving up to the front office now. Uh, kind of joked about making the decision to get off the field. Here's what he